My name's Steve, and I think I've got the coolest job in the world because I get to blow things up. All right, and I'll do it a bit like this. Ready? So here I've got, as you can see up there, I've got my wax is the fuel, I've got the air around me is giving the oxygen, and I initially gave it some heat from my blowtorch, but now the burning wick is providing the heat, so that's continually helping the, the wax melt, work with the oxygen, and create more heat, and it keeps on going. So eventually the candle will burn out, and the whole thing will go out, because there's no more fuel left. But what I can do, I can remove the heat, simply by wetting my fingers, and stubbing it out like that, I've removed the heat, therefore there's no flame, and there's, no, there's no fire anymore. If I put the fire back in again, like that, it's now, it's now looking after itself because it's got its own heat going back into the system again to keep it warm. But I can also remove that heat by just blowing on it. <laughs> Simple as that. Yeah? So by doing that, that's, I've still got the wax and the oxygen available, or the fuel and the oxygen, the wax and the air is still there, but the heat's been taken away so that we no longer have a fire. What I can also do is I can take away the air just by putting it inside a jam jar. So I put it in there, it will use up the, the air that's inside the bottle and eventually it goes out, you see? So there's no longer enough heat for it. So even when I put the fresh air back around it, there's not enough heat so it won't catch fire again until I actually light it with my blowtorch. So that's showing you about the fire triangle. When we push down on it, we're going to be pushing air through it. So we've got the air and we've got the flame, um, but we haven't got any fuel. So just give it a go. See, nothing happens. Yeah? So if I do it with just the fuel being put in, So there you go. We've now just put the fuel in, so if you want to do it again, you see, it just makes a mess. It just pfft. So we need all three. We need the fuel, we need the air from Tom, and we need the fire. So let me put a little bit more fuel in, make sure there's enough. Yeah. And introduce the fire as well. There we go then, and all the way down. Oh, like that. Special, special sort of firework. Now you must never hold on to a firework. This is a, this is a special one that I've had made, and it's designed to burn quite cold. If you were to hold on to a real firework of this side, it will burn your hand. But this is a special one that's been specially made for me. So if I like the end of this, you get. Now, this is, this is burning because it's got its, its own internal oxygen and it's burning away. Because it's got its own internal oxygen, I can put it under water and it'll still burn. So it won't go out, you see? that's about the same size. That's it, and push down as hard as you can all the way down. This will go off a bit faster. See? 